Julian, Julian in Evro, France, writes, Paul, on my Windows computer, I have to pick a fixed sample rate for my USB DAC. For example, two channels, 24 bits, 96 kilohertz. Is that a good choice since I play mostly CD quality tracks and rarely do I play HD tracks? Do I have to change the setting according to each file I play? Well, you know, we've talked about this before and it's worth going over again. Using the built-in Windows audio engine is a mistake. Don't do it. If you want good quality sound, add a program that circumvents the built-in Windows media player, the audio engine, if you will. Same with a Mac. It's, I'm not picking on Windows here. With a Mac, the same thing. And the reason is Windows, Macs, computers in general are not built to make audio files happy. They are built to be convenient. Let's face it, 99.99999 whatever percent of people playing music through a computer throughout the world, the billions of computers, could care less. They just want it to sound good and work. That's the criteria. And to that extent, it does just fine. But for the small percentage of people who actually give a rat's ass about how it sounds, like me, and you and audiophiles around the world, don't do that because you don't want it fixed. And the reason that you don't is because it's going through a sample rate converter always, regardless of whether you set it each time or not, and you don't want it mucked up by that sample rate converter. So get yourself a program. There are free ones. Um, gosh, what is it? Oh, I'm not great on the, the programs, but um, oh, uh, I know people are going, ah, tell I, I, you know, I use a program like Otervana or Rune. Those are paid for programs, but just look around and find, uh, uh, of course, I'm a Mac person, so I don't use a lot of Windows stuff. I have to, I had to learn Windows and I have to use Windows at the studio at Octave Records. I've now become proficient at using Windows, yay! I just, you know, but I'm a Mac guy at heart. And so I, I use BitPerfect. BitPerfect is a cheap program, it circumvents the audio engine and then, and you know it because when you see on your DAC, it should change every time the sample rate changes and that's what you want. So anyway, I'm sure there are programs out there that'll do that for Otervana, any of these programs. Um, the, the free one right now is escaping me, but that's okay. Plenty escapes me at my age. <laughs> Trust me, they're out there, Google it. Okay, take it easy, <laughs> bye.